So in this video we're going to be looking at Office 365, talking about what it is and what makes it different than normal versions of Office, and seeing if it's the right version for you. So stay tuned and we'll dig into this further. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up our Office 365 page here. Um, and we're gonna just take this straight off Microsoft Store um, website, and we're just gonna look straight at these different um, options and uh, maybe give you some good information to, to make a, a good choice. So the first thing I wanna look at is the classic um, Office suite that you would normally buy. And so if we look over here at the third one, this is Office Home and Student 2013. So this is currently the most recent version, 2016 should be coming out soon. But um, what you get is you pay $139 one time to buy Office 2013 and you can install it on one computer. Now that's been pretty much the way you've gotten Office before is you buy it and you know you hang on to it for a while um, you know and that's usually I've I myself for a while and known people you know that have a you know six seven ten year old version of Office um, because you buy it once and you, you own it for life and that's what you're getting here so this is kind of the most classic way and you can buy it for Mac as well so $140 you get the basics um, you're gonna get Word, Excel, PowerPoint and OneNote now, if we take a look at Office 365 Personal, so this is kind of the next step up here. So this is $69.99 a year. And at the end of this video, or actually if you check the link in the description, I'm gonna have links to Amazon where you can get both of these Office 365s for cheaper, um, straight off Amazon, uh, save yourself some money. But for now, we're just gonna kind of compare um, using the Microsoft's uh, retail pricing. So $70 a year. Now at first, you know, my first thing too is, well, that's a lot of money to pay for, you know, for a year. But one thing to look at is you're gonna pay $140 up front to buy Office 2013. Okay, well, every three years, three to four years, usually every three years, uh, Microsoft comes out with a new version of Office. So if you take, if you're the kind of person who buys a new version of Office all the time, you can quickly look at that and go, well, $70 a year times three years, that's $210. Well, so it's more expensive, that's a bad value. But what I wanna look at here, and this is something that I don't think they've marketed very well, is that Office 365 Personal comes with the full business suite, professional suite of Office. So if you look at this comparison chart here, you're getting Word, Hold on, let me get this here, there you go. You're getting Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, but you're also getting Outlook, which is um, for managing email, which if you have more than one email account, um, Outlook, the Outlook program will be great for this. Um, it's similar to kind of how you can add multiple email accounts on your phone. Um, this will give you business grade uh, management of all those emails. Um, and uh, you know, so it's definitely good for that. Or even if you don't, it just makes it so you don't have to constantly go to a website to check your email. You just open up this program. You can have all your settings pre-done. Um, so Outlooks, I love using Outlook um, for multiple emails. Uh, Publisher, which kind of allows you to prepare your own uh, marketing material and documents. Um, it's, it's used in a lot of big businesses for flyers and things like that. And then Access, which is probably even more high-end. It's like an advanced version of Excel where you can actually have like database programs. Probably not used by many, um, but it is there if you ever do run into a case where you need something a little more advanced. But what I'm pointing out is Office 365, one of the big advantages of it is it's the entire suite of Office programs. Um, it's not just a, a certain version. So for instance, if we look at Office Home and Student, uh, it's 2013, $140. For those programs but up here at the top I'm going to click on business and we can quickly see that office home and business 2013 which just gives you outlook is already $219 to buy so now that version of office 365 that we looked at is actually cheaper over a three-year period than just this but if we jumped up to the professional version of office 2013 which is the entire full office suite, um, you're looking at $400 one-time purchase. So that's where Office 365, the value really starts to come in, is that you look at all, all the additional options that you get there. 
Now you also um, you can install this on a tablet or a phone as well. Um, so you do get a little bit extra there. Um, and there's a couple more things I haven't even talked about yet, which is cloud storage. And um, I'll get to that in just a second. But before we do that, I wanna look at Office 365 Home. And this is where Office 365 was sold for me. 100% saw this, went, this is what I want. $100 a year. Again, check the link in the description. It's a link to Amazon. You can get it much, much cheaper. Um, and if you buy it through that link in there, you'll really help me out. Um, so um, I don't I don't buy it straight from Microsoft because you can get it definitely cheaper uh, through Amazon. Anyways, five PCs or Macs. So you don't have to, again, with the standalone version, you have to buy it for the version. So if you have a PC and a Mac, you're going to have to buy the version twice. Um, Office of 365, home, five PCs or Macs, um, or five tablets or five phones, however you choose to spread that out. Now, what else is great about this is you can divide, you can share your Office 365 home license with other people in your household if they have a Microsoft account. So what I've done is I've shared my Office 365 subscription with my wife. So she's able to share those five PC installs or Mac installs through my account. So I have Office on several devices and she has office on several devices and um, you know we can share that and, and keep all of our files and settings completely separated from each other it's not like every time you make a word document it shows up on their computer you're just sharing that license so this is where the value really comes into play because even if you were to take home and student 2013 in here we'll just pull up a calculator here real quick if you were to take that 139 Oops, one thirty nine ninety nine times five devices. Now you're looking at seven hundred dollars to buy Office Home and Student two thousand thirteen. Okay, so now the the hundred dollars a year, or like I said, even less, around seventy eighty dollars a year if you buy it on Amazon, um, looks to be a much better value. But this isn't it yet. What else sold this for me is the one terabyte of cloud storage. And you also, if you use Skype, you get 60 Skype minutes. And it's always up to date. So what does this mean? This means that your Office license, as soon as a new version is available, you get that update for free. You don't have to rebuy it. You don't have to pay a, a fee. You just always get the most uh, update version of Office. And you get this cloud storage. Now, let's talk a little bit about the cloud storage. So let me jump over to my OneDrive account here. Right now I have 10 terabytes of cloud storage. Now this is because uh, Microsoft released a, an offer a little while back saying that um, their cloud storage would be unlimited. So what pretty much happens is as you need more storage, if you're an Office 365 subscriber, is they just bump up your total storage amount. So I'm actually at 10 terabytes total right now because I've, I've gone past the one terabyte mark. But I just wanna look at this video as if you got one terabyte of cloud storage. So, if you were to buy a terabyte of cloud storage from OneDrive through Microsoft, you would be paying $20 a month for one terabyte. That's already twice the cost of Office 365 if you paid per month, let alone if you buy it for a year on Amazon. Uh, you'll, it, it's, you're down to you know, a fraction of that. Now what else is interesting, is let's say you, you know, you don't want to use OneDrive. Well, let's look at some of the other offers out there. So Google Drive, one terabyte cloud storage, ten dollars a month. So you may look at that and go, oh, well, see, there we go, ten dollars a month, one terabyte cloud storage. Here's the thing: is for ten dollars a month, you can get a terabyte of OneDrive cloud storage which will work on all your devices, your iPhone, Android phone, uh, Windows, your Mac, synchronizing your files, um, but it's $10 a month. So pretty much Office 365 for me was, well, I want a terabyte of cloud storage anyways, why not just get the free Office suite with it? You know, when I looked at it that way, um, again, it was a no-brainer. Uh, and if we jump over here to Apple's website, we can see one terabyte of iCloud storage is $19.99 a month. So um, there we are again, very expensive. Um, 
And if we look over, I don't, Apple doesn't go larger than a terabyte. Even if we go over here to Google, 10 terabytes cloud storage, $99 a month. So I would be paying $1,200 a month to get 10 terabytes of, of Google Drive storage. You can see right here, I'm already getting 10 terabytes because I've utilized enough space for Microsoft to upgrade my account for free um, to a larger amount. So when we go back over here, I hope this video has shown a little bit of value in that um, because believe me, I hate I hate the idea of monthly subscriptions. It's like, let me buy it, let me own it, um, and stuff like that. So when it came to just the Office software, absolutely. If you're a person who's like, I don't want cloud storage, I don't care about the latest version, then for you, it's going to make sense. And if you just need like Word and Excel and some basic stuff, then just buy Office Home and Student, pay the one-time fee. Um, or if you need Outlook, you can jump up to the Home and, Off or, um, Home and Business 2013, pay a little bit more and get Outlook. Um, so if that's your case where you don't want cloud storage and you don't always want the latest version, that's probably going to be the most cost effective solution. Um, and again, you can check links in the video description uh, for those products as well. I've tried to find the best deal I could um, to help you out on the price. But if you're the kind of person who likes the latest software and you've been, you're currently using cloud storage or you would like the, you like the idea, which I'll have another video on explaining what cloud storage is. Is it safe? Um, what does it look like? And um, so I'll be doing a video very soon on that. So be sure to subscribe uh, to my channel uh, so you're notified as soon as that video comes out. But I, I hope I've given you kind of a little bit of food for thought of why I've bought into the Office 365 idea of the subscription. Because for me, um, getting that, that subscription um, which again, oh, I didn't even say this. <laughs> when you add additional users, so like me and my wife each have um, an account under the same Office 365 subscription, she gets her own unlimited, or starts out with one terabyte cloud storage, you know, up to uh, you know what seems to be an unlimited amount of cloud storage, but she gets her own. So if I were to buy her a terabyte of cloud storage, me a terabyte of cloud storage, and Office, you can see how quickly this can all add up. Hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, post it in the comments below. I do try to respond um, to specific questions and um, I look forward to hearing from you down there. Again, check the video description links and you can click, just click through the link. It'll give you the price on Amazon. Um, you know, for me, I definitely always find it cheaper there and might help you out a little bit. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would really it would really help me out if you would. And um, like I said, I'll be doing a video very soon on uh, cloud storage. Um, is it safe? Is it secure? You know, kind of what is it? How do you use it? So thank you once again, once again for watching.